Hello, I'm Dr. Karen Dina, and today I'm going to talk about how vitamin D is made in our skin. So let's just say that we are outside and we have our bare skin exposed to the sun. What happens is that ultraviolet B spectrum rays from the sun interact with seven dehydrocholesterol in our skin, and that forms cholecalciferol, which is also known as vitamin D3. So the type of vitamin D that is made by our skin is vitamin D3. So after vitamin D3 is formed, it travels via the bloodstream down to the liver, where it is converted into 25-hydroxy cholecalciferol. Another name for that is 25-hydroxy vitamin D3. So after that's formed, it travels via the bloodstream down to the kidney, where it's converted into 125-dihydroxy cholecalciferol. It's also known as 125-dihydroxy vitamin D3. And that is the activated or hormonal form of vitamin D. Now, whereabouts in the skin is vitamin D produced? It is produced in an area of the skin called the epidermis, specifically in levels four and five, known as stratum spinosum and stratum basal. Now, I've had questions from people before as to whether or not vitamin D is made on the surface of the skin, which is also known as the stratum corneum. And the answer to that is no, it's made in levels four and five. And after it's made in these levels, it travels via the bloodstream down to the liver for future conversion, as we mentioned earlier. Now, there are some factors that can affect our skin's ability to make vitamin D. And some of them are listed up here. That would include pollution, skin type, time of day, age, sunscreen usage, latitude, and season. For example, if somebody lives in an area where there's quite a bit of air pollution, that pollution can potentially obscure the rays of the sun, which can affect our skin's ability to make vitamin D. Uh, skin type or skin tone can certainly affect our body's ability to make vitamin D. Um, time of day. The best time of the day for our skin to make vitamin D is when the sun is at its highest point in the sky. As we age, our skin's ability to make vitamin D can be compromised. Sunscreen usage can also affect our skin's ability to make vitamin D. For example, if somebody is using SPF 8 or above, their skin's ability to make vitamin D may be affected. Latitude and season can also have an effect on the body's ability to make vitamin D. For example, if somebody is living at 35 degrees north latitude or below, uh, which would be a little bit north of Los Angeles on the west coast, and on the east coast it would be at the border of um, North and South Carolina, uh, that person's ability to make vitamin D year-round is going to be pretty consistent. However, if somebody is living above 35 degrees north latitude, then their ability to make vitamin D during the winter months is going to be reduced. How do we know if we are in good vitamin D status? The best thing to do is to get a test. And the test that is considered to be the best indicator of vitamin D status is the 25-hydroxycholecalciferol test. Now, I mentioned earlier that the activated or hormonal form is the 125-hydroxycholecalciferol. However, uh, what's considered to be the best test at this time is the 25-hydroxy test. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in more of our educational opportunities, or if you'd like to learn more about lab work and consulting, please contact us through our website at rawfoodeducation.com.